Okay. Look at our height difference. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, we're Rob and Nadia. Yep. And we just want to do a little announcement. Make sure I'm near the microphone. Um, <laughs> we're going to be away for a little bit, but we're not traveling. No, <laughs> we're, we're digging in. Yeah, we're, we're going to be renovating our kitchen. Um, so it's going to be maybe, in, we don't upload often to begin with, but it's going to be a while till we do another upload. So we want to actually take you on a journey with us as we are hoping to record while we're renovating the kitchen because it's going to be hopefully a newer, nicer looking kitchen. Oh, I think so. Yeah. 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 Let's see, let's go see what we have mm -hmm. and then we'll see where we're going. And we'll let you know why we're doing it. Okay. Yeah. Grab the camera. Follow me. So this is our current kitchen, um, which I actually had this kitchen custom built for my previous studio uh, around 30 years ago. So it's actually held together really, really well. It's all uh, Baltic birch cabinetry, uh, solid birch cabinetry or solid birch plywood with uh, concrete countertops, poured concrete countertops, which were done long before anybody had ever heard of such a thing. And uh, it was designed uh, for working with food stylists on food shoots, which is why we have we have a rolling cabinet here. This actually rolls. This is a lower height for sitting. Um, there we go. But it's sort of showing a little bit of its age. The finishes are a little on the yellow side. It's a little dark, so it's and it makes it a little difficult to shoot in here. And we'd like to have the option to shoot some of our YouTube videos or part of them in the kitchen. So we thought it would be a good opportunity to lighten and brighten the kitchen, um, refresh it, give it a new look. But I just, part of me, and we both agree on this, just tearing out all this beautiful cabinetry and replacing it seems like a total waste. I mean, these are rock solid cabinets. They're solid plywood. And I mean, they don't make kitchens like that very usually. So what we decided to do was reface the kitchen rather than tear it out and replace it. And it just seems to make a lot more sense environmentally, aesthetically. So what we're gonna do is reface the fronts of these cabinets with a uh, laminate material. We're thinking of white on the uppers and maybe a color or a tone or something on the lowers. Are we, are we agreeing about that? <laughs> Somewhere in there. And then what we're gonna do is get rid of this piece of cabinetry because this was actually designed for the previous studio. And in this case, what it does is it blocks our access to the fridge, which is, uh, it's good for our, our daily steps, but it's a lot, rather inconvenient. So we're gonna take this out and put in here, this will, this will move, this rolls away. So we'll pass this on to some worthy recipient. So we're going to put in a, an eight foot long Ikea uh, island here with a white quartz top waterfall finish on either end and an overhang so we can pull up a couple of stools because often when we're entertaining we're doing our cooking in the kitchen while our guests are here so it's nice for them to have a place to sit or if one of us is cooking the other one can keep them company so uh, yeah this section is going this is rolling away to be replaced by an island um, we're going to renew the countertops we love the concrete countertops tops because they're heat proof and indestructible. I mean, we can take a 500 degree item and put it on the counter without it burning. Can they hear that? You may have to say it. <laughs> um, when we're cooking, we're often taking, you know, hot pans like 500 degrees right off the fire, drop them on here to plate our dishes. And this counter is impervious. So we love concrete countertops. So these concrete countertops are beginning to show a bit of their 30 year age. Um, there's places where the surface has sort of worn through and it's gotten pretty stained. 
We call it a patina, but let's face it, it's probably time to refinish them. So there's a company in the States called the Concrete Counter Institute, um, and they specialize in helping contractors build concrete countertops, but they also have a, a product that's geared for the homeowner to do, and it's, they describe it as sort of a concrete icing, it's a concrete that's formulated for you to apply over an existing countertop. It can be laminate, it can be plywood. In this case, we're applying it right over concrete. And it's a new concrete finish that you can tone and stain and then finish with their, um, their top coat, which is heat proof up to over 500 degrees. So we're really looking forward to that. And we're gonna lighten up the countertop a little bit. We're thinking like a, an off-white or a light gray. We'll see when we start applying the product because you can add the colorant to the product to control the color. So we'll see how that goes. And I think that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing. No, we're actually gonna be doing more than that because we're gonna be doing some demolishing and we're going to be restructuring this area. Oh, that's right. Nadia is just reminding me. We're doing a bit of demo and moving things around. So we've got a new stove on order. Um, so this is actually, this has gaps on either side of it because it was, this opening was designed for a 34 inch stove and those no longer exist. So this will, the, the new stove will go in here and then this counter will move over. The uppers are going to move over. We have a new vent. And then we're going to use the cabinets underneath this countertop. And we're thinking of putting, of uh, making them like a rolling countertop, sort of to replace this unit. And it's going to sit over here. We have a new beverage fridge arriving, which is going to go here. And that's for Nadia to be able to ferment her sourdough loaves overnight under controlled circumstances. So we're trying to make use of everything that's already here so we don't have to throw anything out or dump it in the dumpster or whatever. Um, reface it, recycle it, and reuse it. So that's the basic philosophy behind this update. Oh, we're also putting in new vinyl tiles throughout the whole uh, kitchen and living room area. Uh, we're going over the old painted and cracked concrete with new vinyl tiles that sort of look like a light stone or concrete surface. So it's going to give a nice fresh new look to the whole space and a nice brighter, more appealing look to the kitchen so that we can shoot in it, prepare foods, entertain our friends, and that should be it. Yep. And to also mention, we're actually replacing the sink. You're gonna see footage of the unboxing that we did. Here we go. Step one of our kitchen renovation. <laughs> we have nothing but the kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how all kitchen renovations start? I don't know how <clears throat> people start. Do you need help? No, I got it. Yeah, we got the kitchen sink. We got the kitchen sink. Very exciting. It even says kitchen sink right here. Kitchen sink. <laughs> Let's go have a look. And we also got... Kitchen tap. Yeah, I'm actually really excited about this tap. Let's have a look. We managed to find this tap on a very on good sale. Yeah, Yay. very good one. This is one of the advantages of starting and planning your renovation early is you get an opportunity to sometimes grab things on sale or more importantly, given where things are right now, try and get stuff in. Yeah. Supply of everything is short. This, we both live in Toronto. I ordered this on say like a Wednesday. It arrived on a Thursday. It was so fast. Ta da! So there's a, the sink or the tap. Yeah. And it pulls out like this. It's got a sprayer and a regular flow. Clips in. Single handle, hot and cold. Yep. And it turns, I think, 180 degrees. Yes. Yeah. And so it'll rotate. Yep. It's very cool looking. Yeah. Very sophisticated packaging. Very simple. 
very simple. Very we like pretty. things when they're simple yet functional. Yes, it looks pretty neat. So, this side here. Okay. It's time to unveil the sink. Installation guide. Uh, couldn't be any bigger. <laughs> yep, that is one large scale installation guide. Yeah. I wonder. Oh, wait. This is uh, this is actually the cutout sheet. Ah, so I guess no waste. I think that's. I think that's it. Yeah. That's our sink. Strainers. Hardware. The actual instructions. <laughs> and wow. Uh, I think there he goes. Let's just sit up here. And let's sink in a bag. Now uh, how tall are you, Rob? Like six foot two, six foot three? Uh, six two. And look at how large the sink looks. <laughs> how big is the sink? Did you order the sink or the bathtub? What size is this? 36? 30, no. No. This is the larger one. 33. Yeah. There you go. Something is stuck. Ah, here we go. Ta-da! The sink. Therein lies the sink, and this worries me. Please tell me that fits. sink and top. We should show them our current sink so people can understand why we are so happy with this. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, substantial. Rob, I, can you... def I can definitely foresee this being the wash tank for um, Jesse's dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Roscoe is Rob's son's dog. Rob, you look tiny. <laughs> Do you think we got a big enough sink? I'm not sure. I, I think this is getting close to the largest yeah. scale sink that they generally make available. What our current sink situation is. Aside <laughs> from being a mess. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a 30 inch sink? No, same size. So it's actually same... the exact same size. It's just a double sink. We, our biggest problem, there's my sourdough starter getting ready to rise. Our biggest problem with this being a double sink is that when we have bigger items to like wash. Cutting boards and grills and stuff. Yeah. They don't fit in the, they don't fit in the half sink. No, they don't. So it's a pain. So we've been wanting for a while to replace this sink and this tap. The new tap that we've gotten fits just under the counter. Just under the counter. So it'll be just tall enough. We got a new sink and new ah, tap. Beautiful new sink and tap. Our current sink has, it, what's it called? A double sink? The two holer. <laughs> two. And it's annoying because then when you have really big items to wash, you're kind of teetering back and forth between the two sinks. So one big sink, new tap that we're really excited about. And um, the only thing that we're having installed is the flooring and the people will come to install the counter, the quartz counter on the island, but everything else, everything else we're doing it. You're looking at the, you're looking at the work crew, so. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how heavy these countertops are. <laughs> the concrete countertops when we demolish that unit over there and, and make it into two or three, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah, so we're gonna try to- <laughs> You'll see, process. you'll see the action as it happens. Yeah. Maybe we can, I don't know, learn some things. Or <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure we'll learn things. Impart some knowledge as we do it. Yeah. So, so. that's the plan. Mm -hmm. We're going to 
video everything as we do it and yeah. share it with you as we go along. Yeah. And uh, hopefully in a month's time, maybe, maybe, we'll have a beautiful new kitchen to share with you. Yeah. Excited. So, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> bye, so, everyone. Bye-bye. Subscribe, like, notification bell, all that sort of stuff. You're going to want to watch. You're going to want to see what we're doing <laughs> with heavy tools. There might be some swearing. I don't know. All right. Bye. bye. Okay. So here's, here's the plan as it stands today. <laughs> what time is it? Uh, 3.50? <laughs> what does, so, what's the date today? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, plan was, we want to, we basically want to hold on to as much of the kitchen as we can. Yeah. Come on.